We got how cooking up our Christmas jello for a whole family to enjoy. I think I'm gonna gonna share these with my friends at work. I'll tell them they're like caffeine jellos. <laughs> you just get a dose from? <laughs> Good way to make friends. <laughs> but yeah, this is a nice talking to famous people at Christmas. I feel very homey because someone's doing something in the kitchen. Yeah. And you can see the decks of green coming together. Just ladle, it's, ladle and stir, it's just ladle and stir. Sugar, and then sugar. Right. Yeah, it's next to I, I appreciate your patience with it too. You're very uh, meticulous, as one must yeah, be. I'm, I'm kind of uh, perfectionistic when it comes to cooking. Well, sure. You don't want to get big old chunks of dexedrine in your Jello, naturally. Yeah. It, like no one wants crunchy Jello. No, nobody wants that. Ah, I have an awful sound. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it's the vibration. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm enjoying my own Jay Lauren Christmas here. Doing a little bit of Adderall in a couple of different formats. I'm enjoying taking a couple of pills, of course, as is my normal procedure. But also smoking a little bit on top of bong rips, which is a bit unusual. Not something I always do, but a little bit wasteful, but totally does work. Hey, Eric, how come you haven't invested in vaping yet? I've never seen you vape before. That may be changing soon. Somebody is sending me a vape, and uh, I'm yeah. happy to receive it. And I'm gonna try it out and see how how it works for me. Comes in different flavors. That should be fun. Pick out your favorite. Well, there ain't but just one flavor of Marlboro Red, sir, and it's a Marlboro Red. Marlboro Red flavor. <laughs> So, I've already gotten a good start here on the kitchen. I think my next thing to do, since we're doing little errandy things here, is I'm going to move this stove out, because if you were here earlier, you may have heard me talking about it. I have some sort of a rodent behind the stove, maybe a rat or something, I don't know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to solve my problem here by moving the stove out and see how it's you know better. Probably a mouse. Well, a couple of ways. Number one, it's because I can hear it. <laughs> Number two, it's because I can smell its urine. Okay, yeah, I know the smell. Very distinct. Yeah, and I am not... Atypically, I'm one who doesn't really favor the smell of room urine. I mean, I know a lot of people love it, but I'm not a huge road here if you're in a fan. Yeah, I understand. Not, just not your... <laughs> Are you gonna get a mousetrap? They're very, um, effective. Well, One of those small like metal traps. talking about a mouse, it appeared. I don't see any hole. Where the fuck are they getting in from? Oh, maybe it's from up there? It must be from up there. Well, it's certainly a mess. The poops are really small. Um, but it definitely needs to go, so I have to figure out how best to block that off. And Probably it's going to involve getting some of that expandable stuff 
Or maybe some just some grout. I'm gonna go look and see if I got any grass stuff. Good news. I got white cock. Yeah? Yeah. Is it good this, cock? Yeah, with this good cock, I should be able to fill this uh, hole over here. That's my plan, anyway. Prevent the mouse from coming through. Wouldn't they just barrel from like a new hole? Barrel through the wall by, new, by making a new hole? Well, I mean, the thing is, they're not going through a hole they made, exactly, it's the uh, hole that the gas pipe comes in, out of the wall from. It's like a right around there. It's the only hole I see anywhere, anyways, so, I'm going to cock that up with this cock, and, uh... You like saying, you like saying that. <laughs> I guess I should pronounce it colk. I'm gonna use some coke instead. Okay. Does that make everybody feel happier? Ow! Fucker. Freaking thing. Come on, Colk. What's wrong with you? You all dried up? This Colk this might be too old. Mm. The, the official talking with famous people, Jello. Yeah. You, you got the title right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's green. No, I'm just kidding. That would be illegal. It's talking with famous Jello.
Well, now I gotta make breakfast. Hopefully that's good enough. <laughs> Are you finished? Okay. That was what we call a difficult challenge. Difficult, but not unachievable. What is the goal that you want to achieve? Uh, to plug up that hole that the mouse is apparently getting in. I thought you finished that just now. But you did. <laughs> when you said you, it was your... Oh, okay. Do you think the mouse would just eat through it? <laughs> well... Do you think the... the the cock is toxic? Is there a toxic substance? I don't know. But regardless, it should at least slow him down for a little while. If it's not a permanent solution, then I'll find another solution. <laughs> the thing is, it's hard for me to get back there. Because the gas hookup is more complicated than other kind of hookups. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should give it some of your jello. Yeah. <laughs> Then you're gonna find holes everywhere on in your house. <laughs> She's just gonna chew everything <laughs> all day. All night. Uh, he'll die. 
I'll find a dead mouse halfway through building a statue or something. <laughs> yeah. So what type is Mr. Blanky? I've never seen him here before. Uh, I think it might be ENTP. He's from the Philippines. He's young. Uh, but he, I think he self-types self ENTP. I'm not sure. What do you think his subtype is? Because we have so many ENTPs it's <laughs> at this point. Uh, it's not fun. It, it's hard to tell uh, it's hard to tell in this context because of two reasons one age and two cultural differences it's like it's like it's like a Jacob is another ENTP that's affected by cultural differences Swedish people are super yeah. polite and cool and stuff they're not that they're not that combative really Mm. Jake, Jacob's definitely an ENTP, but he's just not that combative because, I guess, primarily because of cultural reasons. So, in theory, mm. I don't really know what the Philippines is like as far as the culture goes. I know they uh, eat a lot of rhinoceros horn. They're constantly. What? They they're, don't. Oh yeah, they're constantly eating rhinoceros horn. <laughs> Did rhinoceros are only found in Africa, isn't it? <laughs> I know that's what makes it so strange that they're such they have such a voracious appetite for rhinoceros horns, but they do. Voracious appetite. Um, it's like a voracious appetite for like giraffe neck or something. <laughs> Well, another weird thing in the Philippines, they believe you put a frog on top of your head, it'll cure whatever sickness you have. Little known fact about the Philippines. Well, if it, it's one of those chemical producing frogs. <laughs> well, it's a magical Philippines healing frog, obviously. <laughs> Only found in the Philippines. Yeah. It's only found there, and if you do find one you put it on your head, you will cure whatever cold you have or anything like that. Hmm. Including death. <laughs> Up to and including death. It's a really good frog. It's like the best frog you can get. <laughs> How old is he? The frog? Well, usually a, yeah, fully mature, a, fully, a fully mature Philippine head frog is over 20 years old. So, I mean, they're pretty rare. Yeah. Mr. Blanky here, I think he's like 16 or something. <laughs> the frog needs to be older than the host for it to work effectively. Well, you know, it's, it's a secretion. It's a, sec it's a musky secretion. And what you gotta do, you put it on your head and then it, it oozes the secretion down and it just drips over your face slowly. So, so when what are the villages when they're born, are they paired with their own frog? No, you have life? to, you have to, you have to meet one in the forest and convince it to come with you. With sound argumentation. They're, they're a very logical frog species. 
Not, not the, not the fuzzy ones you find in China. Yeah, they're not the. Yeah, these ones. If you, if you lose their battle of wits with them, they'll tear your throat out. They're, they're rough frogs. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, they've got fangs. They got fangs like a saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> they look like ordinary frogs mostly, but they have fangs just like a saber-toothed tiger does. So, How much would one of these Philippine frogs, fanged frogs, weigh? Well, they're anywhere between 6 and 60 pounds, depending on on how close they are to a food source, basically. You know, they eat, they eat a, they're fairly omnivorous. They eat uh, rice. They eat prime rib, filet mignon. They, they have a variety of different cuts of steak that they'll eat. And they eat watercress, naturally growing watercress in the region. So, yeah. I see. Interesting species for sure. As, as a world traveling botanist, I've had a chance to see a lot of interesting species in my day, and that was one of the most interesting ever. So how, when did you first decide you wanted to pursue a life of botany? What? Eric, I didn't hear you. A life of uh, a botany? Yeah, a botanist, yeah. Oh. Cataloging plants, studying pollen, all that kind of jazz. Okay. You decided to make that your life's work. Why? Well, um, I've always wanted to be. Was I always thought of myself as a naturalist? But aren't you allergic to most plants? Emergent. Allergic. Allergic. Yes, I. I am. Yeah. That makes botany kind of an odd choice of a career for you. Well, it's it's important for people to face up to their fears. <laughs> it makes them it makes them more interesting. <laughs> but isn't it the case that even the briefest con contact with even the most common of grasses or weeds kills you instantly? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I work for. <laughs> A lawn care company. <laughs> Every day is a battle. <laughs> <laughs> Every day it must be. Every day it must be a battle for sure. <laughs> I take I take my job very very seriously. <laughs> I'm sure he was. The hazmat suit. It must be so uncomfortable working in that under those conditions. It's 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 okay. You get used to it. <laughs> well, thank I want to thank Hal, our first guest here this evening, for sharing his story of of, of adversity and triumph over his life-threatening allergies uh, to pursue a a long dreamt of career in the gardening industry. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> I appreciate your concerns. Yeah. Okay, well, next up on Exciting Lives, Exciting People, we've got Hal. He's come back, and he's got a new job. We're really excited to hear about all about it, Hal. You've decided to become a modern-day conquistador. Can you explain to me how much of a market there is for that? How many people want conquistadors nowadays? Okay, Eric, I'm getting tired, sorry. <laughs> that's because you haven't taken the Dexedrine yet. Yes, that's probably true. <laughs> if you took all 200 milligrams of Dexedrine, you'd be leading the pack here. Yeah, I know, I know. <sighs> okay, Hal, I, 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 will, I will relieve you of, like, your, of your banter duties. Yeah. 
I'm in a pretty giggly mood this morning in general. I have been since I came on here. That's good. Right, is this still sleepy? Is that still? No, oh, it's... it doesn't seem like weak to you. It ended oh, last yeah. night. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I'm kind of tore up right now because I stayed up all night, you know. But. Oh no. What are you gonna do? If shit happens. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Are you taking anything else to help you sleep? I don't know. I, I just. I, a cup of hot chocolate or. Well, I, have mel I do have melatonin. Sometimes I'll take that. Mmm, that's not that's weak stuff. <laughs> well, I know it's weak, it's but it does mess. help me. It does help me go to sleep a little bit. Yeah. What about benzos? Have you tried those? No, because um, my sleep schedule is such that I don't want to go to sleep until until I want to go to sleep. In which case, I have no problem going to sleep because I'm super tired. Oh, okay. Yeah, I. It's like I'll, I'll, for the next week or so, I'll probably average about four hours a night. Last night I got zero, and I'll, I'll get like six. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, people require different amounts of sleep, but then you missed. You said zero. Then. Well. This upcoming night, I'll probably get like six, and well, then you'll, yeah, you'll sleep really well tonight. No, I'll, I'll, I'll still, I'll still only get like six hours. Oh, but if if I'm lucky, I mean, this is the first day on. I took a bunch yesterday, and I took a mm -hmm. little bit more right now. So I mean, in theory, because it's, it's the beginning of the cycle, I could be up in a, another full night. And then I'll be then I'll sleep well Saturday night for sure. And I'll get like a good ten hours or eight you hours. You get sleepy after you have sex. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a cure, that's a cure for insomnia. Get laid. Yeah, well, I mean, I have to work at that a bit. It doesn't just it's not just fall on my lap. I don't live with it, you know. I thought you have like a nice system going. Well, I, in theory I do, but what I've got to do regarding that is, well, there's certain windows of opportunity where you got to make that shit happen. If you're not available or, you know, then you blow it for that window. Like Capilla went off to fucking Mexico or wherever she was, or fucking somewhere in South America, Bolivia or someplace like that. And, uh, and she was gone for a week. She's back now, but she just got back last night or this morning sometime. She's, I'm sure, crashed out. She had a big, long flight. I'd be lucky to see her tonight. It's possible, but probably not. And then if I, you know, if she's up here this weekend, then maybe I see her tomorrow. But if she's got back from a trip, so it might be like she's unpacking or something. You know, it's like shit like that. I got And you can't exactly say... When are you next going to be available to come up here and have sexual intercourse with me? You got to mm. play it cool. You got to be like, hey, what you got going on? And if they, if they don't want to be real specific, then that means you just got to be like, all right, cool. Well, hit me up when you're, when you're okay. Available. So, so what, what, like, what percentage of the time that you guys meet are you guys having sex, sexual intercourse? What? Well, every time. Okay. Mm hmm. Interesting. Have you mapped it out and maybe like co coordinated with her menstrual cycle? Because that's that's a big thing for her, that I find. At least from the girlfriends. For the ex -girlfriends I should think I, about that. Yeah, I should think about that. But I mean, the it, thing is, it's, it's like right on the dot. The second they hit like a certain time of the month, they'll they'll want it. They'll seek it. But if you try to get it. During the wrong, you know, time, then it, it's almost like a guaranteed failure. Well, I mean, both people I have in the mix right now are pretty down. It's it's really a matter of logistics and when it's convenient, more than anything else. <laughs> okay. The problem is not necessarily convenient for either of them. They both live over there. Which is, you know, one of them lives less over there than the other one. The other one lives way the fuck over there. 
Now, Kafia is one of those way the fuck over there. She does come back up here fairly often, but I'm kind of at her mercy. I'm not going down there because of her living situation. She's with her aunt, who's like super Seventh Day Adventist. So I don't know. She says feels uncomfortable with that or whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter why. I'm just not going down there. So I have to be kind of on her schedule when she comes up here. <sighs> so it makes it tricky. I need yeah. a third. I need a third local woman. Is what I need. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that would basically solve the problem. And I need, I need to not drag my feet, and I should just go make it. I, I, I think I saw one of the raw videos where you talked about someone's mom. Uh, Henry's mom. Yeah, I could get on Henry's mom. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to get on her, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, he's got to make it happen, though. got to not be fucking lazy. <sighs> I kind of want to try to get on this, this chick who works at the Circle K, too. I don't know. That'd be a good... <sighs> I've got a good... I, I mean... It's like I know I, I think I'm beginning to know how to deal with that shit. Yeah. Woman, yeah. You're doing great, Eric. You got three women that you can bed. Three or two and then I got, got like I got of worshippers and I don't have any people that love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> worshippers. <laughs> Well, you you already created a religion around the channel. It's just it's just a matter of time. <laughs> it's not it's not religion about me. <laughs> it's, about, it's about you, or it's it's your religion. We all know that. <laughs> it's not my religion. I mean, I am arch pastor, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it that it does. It fits in with the whole thing very well. I will agree with that. Yeah. yeah. How many How many members do we have now on chat? I can't. I, I would check if I could myself. I don't know. In chat? Yeah, I mean, there's, a, there's a button that you can press and it lists all the members. What so is that? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, press the little gear. Okay. And then you have a list of uh, members. Ah, oh, there's quite a few. Yeah. So these are the people that come on very often. They have names anyway. Yeah. And there's probably a fair number of blankies as well. Well, that's cool. That makes me happy to see that. That's convenient to know that that's there. I can think of a number of people who I've seen here who aren't listed there too. Yeah. Do 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 do. All right, well, now that I've sort of cleaned up the kitchen a bit, I wonder what I should do. I should do something productive. Productive, huh? Exercise.te. <laughs> I, I could push the smoke back. That's one thing I could do that would be easy. I want a vacuum back there, though. 
I'm gonna turn off the mic while I vacuum. Why? Because I care. Okay. 